Hello Internet, in this video we'll be talking about this communication nook that I built about a year ago. I had a, a video on it on Scott's Garage. I uh, got a lot of views and a lot of comments, a lot of good comments. Then I received a comment from a person named Ron Blah, and he said, Scott, I hate to tell you this, but this is an NEC violation. NEC is National Electric Code Violation. And I thanked him for it, I looked it up, and, and sure enough, and I don't want to violate any electric codes. My, my dad was an electrician, and you simply don't do that. But in this video, I want to talk about uh, what the violation is, and then secondly, what I'm doing about it. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. If you like garage time and working on do-it-yourself projects, then Scott's Garage is a place for you. Welcome to my channel. Okay, the dialogue that I had with Ron was, well, the, the door swings to the left. There's plenty of room to get to the electrical panel. I don't see why it's a problem. However, when I looked up the code, my understanding is that you need workspace. And there's actually a couple of violations here. I'm pretty sure having this here is a violation. You're supposed to have um, either the width of the panel or 30 inches, whichever is greater. You can measure from both sides, so technically you could do 18 inches to the left of the panel, 18 inches to the right of the panel. Uh, but still, all this is, is in violation. And, and not only that, but I'm pretty sure that I cannot have this cart here uh, as well. You technically need a working space that is 30 inches wide and 30 inches from the wall, which for me would be like right here. And you're supposed to leave that, that, that space open. And, and I'm conscious bound, again, um, Scott's Garage, I don't want to post a video on, on something that would be in violation. Okay, here's a website. I'll put a, a link in the description below for this website. It explains the, the code here. And let me just read it uh, word for word. To comply with US NEC, National Electrical Code, Article 110.26, spaces about electrical equipment, Access and working space shall be provided and maintained about all electrical equipment to permit ready and safe operation and maintenance of such equipment. Working space for equipment operating at 600 volts, nominal or less, to ground and likely to require examination, adjustment, servicing, or maintenance, while energized, shall comply with the dimensions of Code 110.26A, A2, and A3, or as required or permitted elsewhere in this code. Nothing, not plumbing nor anything else, can be installed in the work working space in front, around, or above an electrical panel. For panels operating equipment rated at 600 volts or less, these clearance distances pertain for all electrical equipment. That space or clearance distances are defined as two foot six inches, 30 inches, total width around the electrical panel sides, with the note that the panel does not have to be centered in the space. So in other words, uh, distance A and B don't have to be the same distance, but it has to be a total of two, point, um, two foot six inches or 30 inches across. And then three foot, uh, 90 centimeters deep in front of the electrical panel. So I misspoke earlier. Uh, the distance from there to there is supposed to be a full uh, 36 inches. Uh, and then six foot six inches high in front of electrical panel, also referred to as headroom. Um, so that's the code, and you can see that um, I'm in clear violation of it uh, with what I built, and so Ron Blah was correct. Having said that, I mean, this is a garage, and I don't know how many cars you can pull into the garage and keep 36 inches between the, the um, you know, the car and the electrical panel, um, but it is what it is. So here's my solution. Okay, my solution will be, in addition to moving the cart, is to move the entire nook from, from this place of the garage wall, basically to this inside wall, and there's room right here for the nook. I have power right here, which will be very convenient. And you know the, the, the ladder going into the attic is, is there. However, uh, there is plenty of space here from this point to the wall. Uh, there's enough space here for, for the nook. And so the, the course of this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Now I'm fortunate, I have a nice uh, attic and plenty of space up there. And I'll be uh, putting in a junction box over here. 
Uh, by the way, AT&T, I think they're in violation too. I could be wrong, but AT&T had everything put right here. I think that's technically too close to that as well. Uh, but I'm simply going to go in the wall. This is low voltage. Uh, it'll go up and over. And then I'll come down here. I might use some electric conduit. I'm not sure. I don't think I have to. Um, if there's another NEC violation, let me know. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm safe here. And I'll put a, a box uh, right here. There's a stud right here. You, you can see it right up there. And I'm going to stay on, on this side of the stud and mount the electric box here again for low voltage. And I'll have the Ethernet as well as the AT&T uh, coming in there. Okay, I'm up in my attic now, and I just want to show you this. So, so, so these are the main rafters. There's there's two um, rafters here. I think those are like I don't know two by twelve uh, together. And then there's a two by four. This is the the where the wall goes down that the drywall attaches to. And you can see that there are already holes in here for electrical going down. And right down there is the hole that I cut uh, right there. And so. Um, and here's here's the stud right here. You can see where the nails go in and so I'm going to drill a hole right here and Not here, but right here through the 2x4 and this will be the access point uh, You can see the Ethernet uh, cords over here at least I can the blue ones and I'll be rerouting them uh, down this hole Okay, here's a, a, a close-up of the, the junction box. It's waterproof. It's made for exterior, and I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, here's the final result. Ron Blah, there's no longer any NEC violations I'm aware of. It's a nice clean look. This is so much better than it was uh, a year and a half ago. Um, this is a lot better too than it was with the, the nook that I had here. So I just made it neat and clean. Now I, I put an electrical box here, you know, behind the, the drywall. And then as far as the plate, um, I just chose, uh, you know, a normal ethernet plate and I'll, I'll put a link in the description below and it, it came with uh, this blue insert and it's real simple you simply you know plug the ethernet cord on, on each side now, now normally with internet coming out of the wall you know that's where you plug in to get internet uh, this is the source and I, I, I will probably put a label on that to make it very clear so from at and I think it's an ONT line and, and then of course it goes up and across and then then down so so the nook is over here and it wasn't originally designed for this space, but, but I made it work. I didn't want to have to build a, another one. And, and likewise, I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, the overall look of, of this. So before AT&T was here, now I just put the, uh, the power and stuff there. And it's also a charging station for various iPhones and, and other things I use all the time in, in Scott's garage. It's very handy and convenient. And likewise with the, the router here. 
Um, this plate is, is called a, a pass-through, and the exact name is a VCE single brush wall plate cable pass-through insert. And I'll put a link in the description below, but it's a nice uh, clean look with all the cables that are going through there. And of course the irrigation is here, and it's easy access uh, from, uh, from the door here. And overall I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, my dad always taught me that if you make a mistake, uh, fix your mistake. And so that was uh, my attempt uh, with moving this nook. And finally, I just want to prove that access to the attic is not hindered at all by the nook being here. Okay, you can see it all worked out really well. Uh, this is Scott with Scott's Garage. If you're getting any value at all from this video, please give me a like. It costs you nothing, but it's of great value to me. And as usual, have a great day.